ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಮಂಜುನಾಥ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಎನಿ ವೇರ್ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಎನ್ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪ್ರೀ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ದ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಜಪಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೆಜಿಲ್ through a traveler's eye which is written by george mikesh and the chapter number is 11 a note on travel writing travel writing is about writing one's experiences of traveling and visiting alien places as a genre of writing it is as old as second century when travelers to greece recorded their experiences in the form of a diary with the invention of new techniques of navigation and sea voyages during the 9th and 10th centuries travel writing became popular as more number of people began to explore new places on the globe soon such trips started getting royal patronage and support new adventures and voyages were even commissioned thus travel writing ceased to be just a description of a new place born out of curiosity and gain political overtones now even after much of the earth has been explored and almost every piece on this earth has been written about its popularity has not waned as can be seen by the immense viewership it has on modern media like tv and internet travel writing has come under serious scholarly study in the past 50 years and has become a part of cultural studies program in many universities travel writing is no longer viewed as a product of some innocent curiosity or an attempt to understand an alien culture objectively rather these narratives are telling comments on how a culture gets represented by another and in the process certainly uphold some cultural values as somehow superior and universal than the others now it is on japanese manners a quarter of an hour in japan will convince you that you are among exquisitely well mannered people people who live on a hopelessly overcrowded island have to respect one another's privacy or rather would have to if they had any privacy but they don't so courtesy has a double function it is a courtesy and uh, it is substitute privacy take for example the little red telephones in the streets shops halls of hotels the instrument is situated on a table or on a counter they have no space to spare for booths you conduct your most confidential business transactions your intimate love quarrels in public yet in perfect privacy anybody any passer by could listen in but nobody does a man's telephone receiver is his cousin you will of course immediately notice their mania for bowing everybody keeps bowing to everybody else with the ceremonious solemnity of a courtier yet with a great deal of natural and inimitable grace bowing is neither less nor more silly than shaking hands or kissing the cheek but it is quainter more formal more oriental it is also infectious after a few hours you start bowing yourself but you bow too deeply or not deeply enough you bow to the wrong man at the wrong time you do not clasp your hands in front of you which is bad or you do which is worse you will discover that the japanese have a complicated hierarchy in bowing who bows to whom how deeply and for how long one of the american states had an early traffic law which laid down that if two cars met at an intersection neither was to move before the other had gone similarly if two japanese bow neither is to straighten up before the other stands erect in front of him a little complicated to us they manage it without difficulty and even smallest difference in rank standing age social position will be subtly reflected in that split second one man's bow is shorter than the others 
in many cases there are clear cut differences in position and no difficulties the basic rules inside the family the wife bows to her husband the child bows to his father younger brothers to elder brothers the sister bows to all brothers of whatever age i saw babies carried in japanese style on their mothers backs in clever little saddles and whenever mother bowed baby bowed too somewhat condescendingly from his majestic height japanese stores employ bowing girls who stand at the top of escalators and whose only duty is to bow deeply and deferentially to all and sundry the japanese equivalent of our page boys who turn revolving doors for us on the famous and fast tokaido line between tokyo and osaka two conductors enter the carriage in a slightly theatrical scene they march to the middle of the coach bow ceremoniously in both directions and then start checking the tickets in one of the parts of nara i met a dear i bought a pack of food for him he came up to me looked into my eyes and bowed deeply it was no chance gesture it was a proper and courteous bow perhaps deer are more imitative than i knew perhaps if they see people bowing all the time they get into the habit too perhaps it is something genetic and is in the blood of japanese deer i do not know but i do know that the deer bowed to me then jumped at me and snatched the little food bag from my hand in this too the deer was a true japanese you can often see people bowing to each other with ceremonious serenity at bus stops as soon as the bus arrives the bowing gentlemen are transformed into savages they push each other aside tread on each other toes and show their elbows into each other's stomachs eating soup eating soup has more dangers than almost anything else when eating soup you must make a fearful noise it is a sign of appreciation if you don't your hostess will think what an ill mannered lout but if you do she will think no reasonably well brought up european makes such disgusting noises when eating soup he must be an ill mannered lout traffic in brazil nobody hurries in brazil it does not really matter whether you reach your destination an hour too soon a day late or not at all the gray pavements in the streets of copacabana are often decorated with beautiful black mosaics a unique type of decoration only a people alive to beauty in their surroundings and who have plenty of time for contemplation during their meditative ambulatory exercises would take the trouble to decorate the pavements they walk on however as soon as these easy going leisurely characters get a steering wheel in their hands no speed is fast enough for them you would then be inclined to believe that gaining a tenth of a second is a matter of grave importance for all of them all the time motor cars are extremely expensive in brazil import duties being crippling and murderous only a few other poorer south american states are in a worse position in this respect complaints are universal hardly anyone can afford a car yet this only means that the number of motor vehicles is growing by leaps and bounds almost as if cars were distributed free of charge to all and sundry thus the pedestrian's life is becoming more hazardous every day it is not that drivers do not care about pedestrians the trouble is that they do care about them they are in fact on the lookout for them as soon as a driver notices a pedestrian step off the pavement he regards him as fair game he takes him and accelerates the pedestrian has to jump leap and run for dear life he does not resent this in the least driver and pedestrian hunter and prey smile amicably at each other i win today you will win tomorrow fair enough 
the war between drivers themselves is murderous but good tempered they cut in they overtake on both sides they force you to break violently and commit all the most heinous crimes of the road and 20 times every hour but they smile at you the same time there is no anger no hostility no mad hooting the avenida presidente vargas is the worst place of all you stand there trying to cross the road and contemplating the truly fascinating problem how can crawling traffic proceed at such terrifying speed as hour after hour passes without a ray of hope of an auspicious crossing you may witness a scene something like this a man on your side of the avenida vargas suddenly catches sight of your friend of his on the other side and starts waving to him at the same time looking completely mystified how on earth did you get over there he shouts across trying to make himself heard above the traffic it is the other fellow turn to be surprised by this new question he yells back how i was born on this side dear friends thanks for hearing please do use this material in order to get acquainted with this lesson whenever wherever you go you can listen to this audio material and you can learn about this lesson thank you